Okay, hey, I'm Bally. I'm Mark. And uh, we're at the Smash Factory. If you're tuning in, you've probably seen this before. We're gonna switch it up today. Um, you may notice my level is a little down. Had club championships on the weekend and played like a jackass. <laughs> so we're gonna discuss that in a few moments here, debrief a little bit, yeah. talk about what went wrong, kind of things to learn on and, and, and for next time, so. I'm gonna pout. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to a pout. It was a rough three days. Yeah. <laughs> shut but so that's all right i don't know why i keep grabbing the same golf ball we got a pile of them over here <laughs> gives me a break Pretty i don't sure just want a quick it. rake one and slam yeah. it back so had a rough weekend yeah how was it let's talk about it a well bit. so something we'll need to i, I was just a bag of for those of you who don't know, it was Matt's club championship on yeah. the weekend. So Yeah, and I'm a lamb to the slaughter because there's some guys there's there that can really play. They're good players. They're very good. They grew up, you know, college golf and a lot of them yeah. play, you know, and they all hit a lot of competitive men. golf. Oh, they bomb it. You guys, the and competition I is crazy. Picked up golf late and I tried to fake it, you know, <laughs> but the smoke and mirrors were just were not. <laughs> it was it was rough. So I came out of the gates like a complete asshole. And part of it is um, uh, you know, like I'm, I want to play well. I'm jittery, and me, I'm already yeah. a pretty fast twitch guy, and everything just moved a m million miles an hour. Yeah, that's the hardest thing, right? Oh it's, God, it's I was just like, just just bouncing all over the place yeah. and like hitting shots like that. Yeah, and um, and then it took until the middle of the second day, so it's a three day tournament, middle of day two, before I like finally settled in and. Felt comfortable. Just hit some shots and was yeah. like, oh, okay, I know how to do this. But yeah. um, pretty late by then when guys are and the, the more going it, under par. and <laughs> Well, yeah, and you're clawing your way back. Oh. Right? And I think that the more, and for like everybody too, is like the more that you do that and play competitions, the less time it takes you to get to that point. Right? Yeah. So sometimes it takes two days. Sometimes it takes oh, it, three holes. It right? took so, a lot of days. Yeah. Well, you know what, man? I think like... That's where it's it's hard. It's it's frustrating as you, as everybody knows in golf and, and competition golf is no different. It's extremely difficult and when you play at a golf course like you do, where you've got a you know that you have to play perfect golf for three days. I I mean I have lots of toys and I use the uh, the most forgiving mirrors that I have. Yeah. So in in theory, <laughs> I'm gonna be nervous a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna miss hit some shots. I need the help. Right. And I hit them like an. Okay. Okay. So it was just, it was weird. There's something about that, right? Like, and, and something I tell people a lot is forgiveness is relative, right? Yeah. Because like, yes, in theory, this iron is so much more forgiving for me. But if I played a, a, an iron like that, would I play better golf? Definitely not. Right. So that happy that me. medium. Yeah. You think I would know better? Cause like I'm here all the time. Yeah. But you know, they've been fitted for me and, and it's not like they weren't good clubs. Like I, I like them. They're yeah. very good. You hit them all obviously. Yeah. And I, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I hit them well. Um, but it was just like, look, you know, it's not just a regular round, you know, trying to play yeah. with you and we'll win $5 or <laughs> the signed $5 bill. Um, it was, it was like, okay, I got to play for three days and there's going to be some that are going to hit the neck or the toe or yeah. give me as much help as I can get. For sure, which is makes sense, right? And I hit it like a dog. Yeah. So, so my yeah. iron play was atrocious. And then I just made a wholesale change. Yeah. Literally like day one done. I blew my brains out, and so then it became, okay, we're switching, so yeah. I went back to... So what'd you start with? So, okay, so I started, and this is not a, a you know, a chirp against No, it's not any a knock at any of the equipment, no. No, and like, the Mira makes spectacular stuff, um, as do, frankly, all the clubs that we carry, but... For sure. So, so those are the um, TC201s. Yeah, so a little larger cavity back. Right? Yeah, I mean, still very game. compact, a great player's club, and like, super forgiving and yeah, very you know we've rawed those and done some stuff so i had to slap some tape on and because i kind of you know frankenstein the, yeah. the build but in theory they should have been great yeah and for, for some reason. reason they just we didn't get along you know what and like this is something i'm glad you brought that up because i talked to a lot of people about that week in and week out and obviously not with 
I mean, there are some players that I talk to that are at your level, but I think the majority of people are 15, 20 handicaps yeah, yeah. looking for the most forgiveness. And I think what you get a lot is people go, oh, online it says it, it sh it's built for a 15 to 25 handicap. Online's bullshit. You know what, man? Honestly, like I understand that they have to give some guidelines of hey, yeah, so people know where to the, look. Exactly, right? Yeah. Keep you kind of on the right track, but I think it, it it just causes too much confusion when people put too much stock in that. And I think a 25 handicap player could technically play a very very unforgiving iron in a certain circumstance, right? And and I think that's where for me this is a line i use a lot with our customers is like the irons i play are probably the least forgiving iron i've ever played but i hit them the best yeah you and, find stand the club face and honestly i can't and even you know what and i would argue too is like even when i don't the misses are pretty good like mm -hmm. I, I look at divot patterns and i'll hit it off the heel a little bit but i still get quite good results so to me that's where i think could i play an iron that's more forgiving i probably could and so could you but that's not the iron that you're gonna hit the best day in and day out. Yeah, and I, I uh, you know, we get a lot of people that come in here and say, well, you know, I like this brand or yeah, I like this X, club. Yeah. Sure, and I mean, we always let them test it and then we show them the numbers and maybe it does fit, maybe it doesn't. Yeah. But yeah, the theory of what should work and, and, it's, and what does and like because it's it's hard to quantify for us right like there's certain people that okay th soul thickness your, yeah. your turf interaction is poor because you're a higher handicap player but you don't have the divot pattern that that manufacturer kind of wants you to have for that mm -hmm. sole construction. So I think it's harder to quantify for, for Matt and for a player like me too, right? It's like, I don't know. Like, honestly, there's, there's, I don't know why I hit them more solidly and I, 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 I catch them better and I feel like I have less miss hits, but I do. And I played a set of irons before that were significantly more forgiving, but I miss hit them more often. Yeah, and, yeah, and that was me. Right. So my crowning moment, Oh God, I just wanted to punch myself in the face, but I had already just punched <laughs> myself in the dick, so I didn't need to punch myself in the face. Fifth hole, right, two tier par five, and okay. it was into the wind, and I couldn't get to the second deck for no, life of me, where the tees were back. Yeah. So I hit three wood, just Smart. just to kind of on the walkway, so I actually hit it pretty good. That's perfect, yeah, yeah. that's perfect. And I'm like humming and hawing, but I still had like 250, 250 into the wind. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna send one, because no, there's junk left green. in bunkers. Yeah. Let's not blow your brains out. Yeah. So I just decided to hit six iron up there, honk it left 70 yards yeah. into the trees. She gone. Yeah. And yeah, you know okay. what? And, 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 and obviously everybody knows that rule, but if you're going to lay up, lay up, right? And, and I mean, and I, I laid up to the club that got past the fairway bunkers, short of it. Like you made the right mental decision. Yeah. And just went mental. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I know. And I know. literally like I just spazzed out. And then of course the next hole, same thing I had, Left Which is gone. Right, because yeah. the par three, what club do I have to hit six okay. iron? And I'm yeah. like, oh boy, here we go, standing over it, yeah. dead left. And, and I just. And, it's, and I think horrid. what you did was probably right. Like irons that you switch to, you're still comfortable, but it gave you something to, to, different to look at, right? It's like everybody knows that they have a bad putting day. It's nice when you refresh something. Yeah, right? just, and, just get the eyes set, right? Yeah. So, so that's what I did. So I switched from, from the um, 201s, yeah. The 201s to Mira's very funky. Um, the limited KM the, 700s. The, the yeah. KM 700s. They're a smaller top line, there's less meat. Yeah, uh, they do have very fancy pink ferrules. <laughs> that adds to the look. It's my favorite they, color. Um, they, you have been playing them for well over a month, though, correct? Right? Yeah, like, like I knew how to use them. Yeah, it's not like they're brand new, right? So, and one of the things people always say, oh, well, why do you switch so much? Because I can, but same shaft, same swing weight, yeah, so it's, it's not drastically different. Yeah, I just needed to look at something different and, and, and like yeah. fresh eyes. But I learned the hard way myself, which we try and teach people every day you have to test and whatever's best is best, yeah. not the theory behind how it's designed. Yeah. For shafts, it's like that. This yeah. low launch shaft, Sometimes well, I hit high. high. This exactly. high launch shaft, I hit, like, yeah. Throw it we know this sometime. and I still yeah. went against it and said, nope, I'm going more forgiving yeah. and I played well, like a jackass. You, you did what everybody would do, right? Like it, it makes sense. And this is where like, this is kind of what we want to highlight in this video too, right? Is, is just because something in theory is more forgiving does not mean that under pressure, it's going to perform for yeah, you. Yeah, so, and th that was it. Under pressure, amazing. I was bouncing around. Yeah. And just twitchy and like yeah. it, it. And it's, and see, and I would like I would say too, I don't, it, from the sounds of it, your misses weren't like, oh, I hit this a little skinny and I was 10 yards short. I hit it left and right, right? Like. Yeah, so I was still hitting the center of the club face. But it was directionally. It was, 
it was um, because it was more forgiving. Yeah. The crooked ones went further, further into, into the, the shit. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah, <laughs> you see, know what I mean. I know your short. <laughs> yeah, your 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 skinny one that should be short right is is pin high right and it's done, yeah right. It's it's dead. Like it would have been better if some of them went out shorter. Yeah, and stayed short of the. Because jump. I would have been able to find the golf ball. See, and that's where like, to me, that's I think that's part of the reason why I play the irons I play too is because I know that my misses, my really bad misses, are are twenty five yards short of what. What they should be right so yeah it's easier to manage and i think like i've played around with more forgiving irons i i, I think it's it's just one of those things that it just doesn't work i, I almost know. switched to left-handed it was so <laughs> bad the first day Holy. okay so um you heard us jabbering here while i was hitting nozzle rockets <laughs> talking to mark about how much i sucked on the weekend um you know there's some positives that that, yeah. that came out of uh club championships not many, but I've got to dig deep to find the positives. Huh. My buddy Dave came to help caddy for me, which That's was always nice. nice. Yeah, and uh, and it was just hammering rain, and he's like, "Do you want a caddy?" And I was like, "You want to hang out in the rain and watch me do what I've been doing?" So but you got good friends. Yeah, he's a great dude. Yeah. I couldn't believe that he was willing to come out there and watch me chop it around. But um, hey, we've all been there. Oh, me. it was. I mean, I gave it everything I had. So I mean, the one benefit, the one plus I can say is I didn't quit, and and yeah. it's easy to just kind of phone it in and pout and and just shoot a thousand, <clears> and I. Literally every shot I did my best I could, tried, which yeah. was which was sad because that was the best I had. But um, but at least I learned. You know, I made an error. I chose what was theoretically more forgiving. Should have played yeah. what I knew I could hit control the best. Yeah, I think that's the best way to play. Um, but the theory behind it, and I don't know why I got wrapped up in that. I should know better. You know. Yeah. Like our fitting studio, we do this all the time. We go against what the sheet says yeah. all the time. Yeah. Because everybody's different. Yeah. And. Um, yeah, and I think if, if any of you at home too, right, you've been in that situation, we've all been in that situation where we want to play well, we want to go into a tournament or a club championship, yeah. you're you're not just going to come out guns a the first time you play in a tournament, right? So, I didn't even load the gun. <laughs> and I pulled the trigger, but I was holding the barrel. Yeah, okay, there's no bullets in there. It was, yeah, it I know, was and, and I think that's where, like, learn from it, right? Like, listen to us talk a little bit. I've been through this matt's been through it um if you're at home and you've got your club championship coming up in a couple of weeks relax right enjoy the experience have fun learn from it if you play really well great but if you don't enjoy it right it's a fun weekend okay um, good matt do you just want to hit one and i'll just use that to sink everything <laughs> i don't know how you're That was my mouth. That was your mouth. Oh, you thought that was a part? That was your ass for sure. <laughs> I was sure of it. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I was like, you're, you're amazing. That, that, that would have been amazing. Your control like, is fucking Your bottle control.